Andrew. Got a question for Andrew? Email him at axandrew at odyssey.com. Axandrew on Hot 104.1. Yeah, man, waking up with the home team on your Friday Eve. Good morning and God bless, man. Y'all know Shorty and her showing love. Tell your auntie I say, what's happening? Got our girl Tiffany Fox. Mm -hmm. Feeling foxy. <laughs> yes, I am. Got her shades on this morning. Mm -hmm. And right about now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to X Andrew. I just want your extra time and your now it's about time that I swear this So pardon me, miss But I'd like for you to hear this If you kiss me, then I'll kiss you back You see, I feel real good inside And it's just from your nearness There's no need for you to Yes, yes. at least you know This is the part of the show where Drew tries his best to answer your question And my question every day is Why do you continue to involve him in your life? But here we go Fox, what's going on? All right, somebody says Hi, Andrew so, me and my boyfriend's mother were getting our nails done. My treat. My boyfriend's baby mama came in and attacked me, oh. punching me in my face oh, no. and neck until the salon owner threw her out. His mother never helped me. She didn't even take her hand out of the dryer. <laughs> I feel like she backdoored, betrayed me because she doesn't even approve of our relationship. He says he stays out of women's business. Amen. Okay. Amen. Really? Oh, okay. I don't know if I can trust him at this point. I've invested six months in this relationship. Advice. Mm -hmm. Hi, how you doing? So, um, Shorty, turn my mic up just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure you get loud. Just though. a little bit. So, um, I'm always in women business. <laughs> um, so, really? Yes. I'm okay. always in women business just like I be in your business Why? sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And um, I'm always in my mom. I I'm always in my sisters, my aunt. They'll be like, Andrew, stay out of women business. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the things that women talk about, mm -hmm. it make you want to react and get involved in their uh, conversation. Okay. So you, I don't blame. Be. Correct. Yes, so, sir, I don't blame you for that. And you know, sir, it's a girl that's right now. I know well, she's, that. She's I, I'm, the I'm talking to the guy mm -hmm. as well. For mm -hmm. listen, Linda. Okay. Okay. Um. So. I don't blame you for that. You know, I don't blame you for We're getting involved. No, no, I don't. Out. No, I want him in the right. I oh. want him in the conversation because sometimes we need to know what these women be saying. Okay, okay, fellas. So, well, I, all right. oh. um, and and my advice on your six month relationship. What you just, what you, what Tiffany just read to me and talk to the listeners. That's not enough for you to quit this relationship. Mm. Okay. So That's not mama enough. Running down on her ain't enough. Correct. Because and um, he did nothing about it. Uh, absolutely. Um, and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. Cer certain things you don't always need a reaction. I know a lot of people who baby mamas constantly throw stones at the at the new girl, mm -hmm. and the father or the boyfriend doesn't react. Mm -hmm. He stay quiet. Because he doesn't need to be in that type of business. Now, being in the conversation is fine. I'm going to be in the conversation. But if my girl, okay, okay mm -hmm. is starting to be in another who I used to date my, with my kid's mother, you get what I'm saying? Okay. And they start going back and forth, my job is to step back and let them do them. And then maybe I'm going to sit back and say, both of y'all even... Cut it out, or I'm done with both. Well, <laughs> oh, so you're admitting that you still deal with your baby mama. Correct. Well, I, <laughs> but it's on a different level. Just because I deal with you, Tiffany, doesn't mean I'm going to have sex with you. That means I'm done with it's you. It's still You're an emotional news. connection. Correct. There you go. Mm -hmm. Well, I think I think that, uh, you know, for me personally, just for, from a man mentality, if I don't interject then i probably don't care how it plays out that's there you right. go however that's right. however if i have this new woman that i actually want to be around mm -hmm. and my baby mama tripping i'm checking my baby mama For sure you know what i'm saying and there's ways to even uh i guess physically involve yourself without putting harm to people there you go True. you get what i'm saying like mm -hmm. if i'm out on a date with you know my current and then my ex or i don't got no kids but just for this conversation sake my baby mama try to run up like i'm tossing like i'm not gonna put my hands on it but i'm grabbing her hey what you for doing sure. you tripping but now if she I'm didn't just kinda... say it was physical she just said that they continue to go back and forth no no no, no it was she physical she, she, she came in a nail shop in a nail shop yes, and, 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 and the mama didn't do nothing yeah she just said she came in there and started swinging on her brain in the nail shop. I'm not doing nothing. 
you gonna stay out of it. Yeah, absolutely. You gonna just let him go. Yeah, because Correct. he already admitted that he still have an emotional connection to his baby mama still. Well, let's get. Uh, how know. about the Ooh. fact that Andrew having a baby mama is just you know. I mean, Why well, I can't have? A, I'm a man. Now, now let me. No, 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 no. I would get it no, straight, no, bro. No, no, I would just, <laughs> just because I might have a female tone or a female and voice. Because I'm you have still makeup a man. on, and that's why he said. And no, I have a I make. No, 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 no. Let me let me check this. Shorty, wait. I'm helping you out. No, this is still as Andrew. Now let me get you straight wig okay now and because you your wig do be you, that's why you got that scarf on because your mm -hmm. edges are wrong and you need somebody to lay them all right and they are it looks like well, why, skin don't you tell, up. why don't you tell st louis why are you going to atlanta this weekend oh i'm let's going to atlanta because i'm going to work no you're going oh, down okay. there for an abortion oh, let's oh, talk oh yeah no no i'm that's not exactly, done with you yes, now exactly the reason why going. i have a you makeup because i'm getting ready for a photo shoot all right guys so uh we're going to help shorty I think we're gonna just keep this thing rolling. It's probably the safest thing to do at this point. All right, good morning. Sorry, sorry, y'all. Sorry. Gotta represent. Gotta represent. Look here. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> Look here. Before I. Oh, Lord of mercy. Okay, before I jump into the foolishness, let's go ahead. <laughs> Let's go ahead and address. Mm. Let's go ahead. I can't stop that, y'all, because let me tell you something. This this, this this shit been going on all morning. You hear me? Ever since they got on the air, this shit been going on all morning. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Let's address the letter, okay? You know, as usual, he just got shit messed up. He wanted to address the man and still got the shit messed up. Um, and, uh, what can I say on it? He just didn't answer the question. Because he didn't understand. He, he wasn't really paying attention. But like I, but we already know. His mind is focused on putting digs into Tiffany. That's all that is. Um, now... The woman been in a relationship with the man for six months, and it turns she was at the nail salon with the boyfriend's mother, getting the nails done, and the baby mama came in and started full on attacking her, and the mom didn't help. And she said that she put six months in with this guy, and I guess she just don't know what to do, but let me tell you something. When you are with somebody or you start dating somebody that has children, then you need to get to see what the relationship is with the, the mother of a child and that person. Okay? Now, we all know, you know, people like, oh, you know, they ain't nobody. I don't deal with them. You know, I just deal with the child. Okay, whatever. But me as a mother... You will need to introduce me to her so I can get a feel, so I can so I can see what her temperature is towards me. Okay? And so I can get a feel of what it is y'all relationship is on. Okay? Now, he don't want to get in women's business, but it seems like you've been with this woman for six months and you're not going to check your baby mom for attacking a woman you've been seeing for six months, which goes to show me that you know, you don't want to stay in women's business. You you don't want to be in women's business, but you don't let your baby mama do whatever she wants to the women you are dating. So if that's the case, then no, leave his ass. You don't have to deal with that. Not going to deal with it. And if the mama don't like the relationship from the beginning, okay, she's on the girlfriend side. She, she knew what the hell she was doing. She wasn't going to help you, honey. She wasn't going to help you. She wasn't going to help you because she still like the baby mama. She don't like nobody else but her son but the baby mama. That's why the baby mama did what she did and the, and the boyfriend didn't do nothing. Yeah, leave his ass. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. <laughs> like I say, that's why I love older men and their kids are grown. <laughs> I ain't got to deal with that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Now. Um, <laughs> let's get on with the bullshit, okay? Like I said, they've been going at it all morning 
long. You hear me? You hear me? Now, Tiffany, she been on his ass. And like I said, he's doing, he's saying, he's doing something or saying something off air. But she addressed it on air. Because this is how I feel. You going to sit there and be off air. You sitting there terrorizing me. You want to throw shots at me off air. I'm going to address it on air because I ain't taking a fuck for no motherfucking body. I don't care. And I know Shorty that's sitting there trying to keep the peace. Now, he, he been telling Shorty to go to hell a lot lately. He been saying that a lot lately. Okay? But it's these little digs. And what I tell y'all? Somebody gonna keep on and they gonna go whoops outside his head. Okay? Because of his mouth. Now, you sit here, try to sit here, talk, um, so supposed to be, you know, addressing this letter. You wanna sit here and take shots at her. And for what? It was something said earlier about, oh, he said something to her earlier and she said, that's why you got makeup all around your turtleneck. <laughs> Hold on, let me. <laughs> Let me post a clip. I feel blessed, blessed, because you know it. It was felt so good to to hear you speak every morning to encourage the parents and encourage encourage those when you have a little rat over there that constantly nag. <laughs> How do you deal with that? What is that though? Well, yeah. that sound you just like nag, like you know, always nagging. I see why we single. Okay, so yeah. we got your headlines coming up around the corner. You got, I'm two today. seconds off you, Andrew. Bring oh, it, baby. Two please, seconds. Please, I'm going to light you up. Not all right? Today, please. Okay. Like, all make, that makeup around your turtle neck. We gonna, Don't oh, try okay. it. Well, come and wipe it off. Don't oh, try it. We going to make it through okay. today. We are. All right. Good morning, Jesus Shorty. Name. Good morning. In Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. We right back. <laughs> now, you see... How he sit there and picking at her, and she, she didn't. She wasn't saying nothing. You know, uh, they do their morning manifestations and everything, and you know, Shorty went. You know, it's always positive on that. And he was a, you know, giving the moms their props with their kids, and that's why, you know, Andrew come in saying what he's saying. But yet, you had to take that moment to take a dig at her by calling her a rat, and you see why. Uh, we see a minute, you know, you see why Tiffany's single. See, that's the shit I be talking about. And the thing of it is, like, you don't want no, they don't, sure don't want Tiffany to address him, but yet, damn, damn, tell you, he run the H on y'all ass. You know what I'm saying? With his little tattletelling ass. Why should, and, and really, <coughs> To me, that is a hostile work environment because he, because of what he doing and what he's saying. He's saying this stuff unprovoked. And then when she get on him, it's a problem. No, you dish it out, you damn well going to take it. And that's the problem. They, people want to come to his rescue. I was talking about, oh, but you know, he a little special needs and, you know, no, he ain't that damn special needs. He know the fuck he be damn saying. He go out here terrorizing people. He go out here running his damn mouth. He sit here talking about he a double million that he got money. He ain't that damn special needs. But I, to me, Tiffany, girl, let me tell you, if I was you, I'd go to HR on his ass, just like you do with you and Shorty. Do the same to his ass. Because something got to give now. All this, you know, you, you know, taking shots at her unprovoked. And like I say, like I, re I record the whole, I don't record the whole show, but I record, you know, pieces when they're talking. And to be unprovoked, he all got to take a dig at her. And that's just fucking ridiculous. It is. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, she just, she wasn't with it this morning. She, she wasn't with it. And he told me he got a makeup because he's getting ready for a photo shoot. You know, I ain't never seen somebody have so many photo shoots and don't produce no photos. You got on makeup early this morning because you get ready for a photo shoot. Shouldn't you do that like after work? I don't wonder what the hell he had on. He talking about a photo shoot. Well, she, 
and he ain't live or nothing. So it's hard to say what he had what he had on that to say, to have makeup on. So so what you wear for the photo shoot? That black turtleneck neck and um the the um the leather breeches, huh? That's that, that's what you wear to the photo shoot. Huh. Well, he'll, he'll probably post a picture later, Photoshop and all. But, yeah. Yeah, it, surely, you know, he had to, you know, ease out of there with that. But, surely, you want to see him get on Tiffany, no, you need to get on his ass. Okay? You need to get on him because he's doing it unprovoked, and that's not fair. Like I said, he's been having this sideways attitude with her since she got there. And I would not, I would not blame Tiffany not one bit if she smacked the shit out of that. I would not, I would not. Just like I uh, sat there and told British on Twitter, um, you know, we wouldn't be mad if you, you know, you slept around a little bit. <laughs> I sure did. And she, <laughs> And she liked it. Okay? We're not going to be mad at that. Because of the fact he, he, he do and say things unprovoked, and then he want to, you know, hide his hands when he do it. You know, that is just, you know, foolishness. But that's all I had, people. That's all. But you know how we do. We're going to kick it down in the comments. And that's all for now. Bye!